All right, this section is kind of where we start to dive a little bit deeper into some of the complexities of the differences between the Roadcaster Pro Original and the Roadcaster Pro 2. You see, the Roadcaster Pro 2 has multiple connections now to your computer system. So it actually has, as you can see here on the back, it has two USB ports, USB 1 and USB 2. Now, what does that mean? It means that you can connect both USB connections to the same computer, or you can connect one USB 1 to one computer and USB 2 to the second computer, so you can output your audio to both locations at the same time for multiple computer streaming and so forth. Um, so I want to kind of dive into the beginning parts of the easy stuff, okay? So if you simply want to get your audio from your uh, from your channels, whether it be channels one, two, three, four, all the way up to virtual channel nine. If you simply want to get the, that audio over to your computer system so you can bring it into something like Ecamm Live, which is what I'm showing right now, then what you need to do is you need to connect USB one from the back of the Rodecaster Pro 2 and put that into your computer system. Now that can be plugged in either by directly to one of the ports on your Mac or your your computer systems, again, let's talk about Ecamm Live, or you can connect that to something like a Thunderbolt dock. Uh, now, there are some USB-C docks that are out there. Some are really good, some are not that great. So in my opinion, you kind of get what you pay for. The thing is, you have to make sure you get a powered USB dock. So if you have a USB dock and it's, you know, 50 whatever dollars or so, um, just make sure that there's an external power connectors so that actually has its own power adapter that plugs into the wall and then that powers the dock itself so that you're not relying on the USB port on your computer system to supply power to all of the different devices because this can get uh, this can add to the power resource hungriness of different USB items that are connected to your computer system. So once you have that connected and your computer system now recognizes the uh, it'll now recognize two different uh, input channels or microphone or sources or audio sources is going to recognize USB, sorry, excuse me, Roadcaster Pro 2 chat and Roadcaster Pro 2 main. Now, those both come through on USB 1. If you have USB 2 connected to the same computer, you'll get a third source or connection that's called USB 2 secondary. Now, if you connect USB 2 on the back of the Roadcaster Pro 2 to a completely different computer system, that computer system will only see Roadcaster Pro 2 secondary. And I'm not going to get into the details of why you would want that right now. So for now, just plug in USB 1 to the one computer system. In this case, it's a Mac. And you'll, you're going to see two channels coming in, USB 1, USB Ah, oh my gosh, sorry. Roadcaster Pro 2 Chat and Roadcaster Pro 2 Main. All right, so now let's go into this. Now, the one thing you need to do is most of the time people be using things like Zoom or other interview modes uh, on the computer system. And in order to be able to do that, you have to have something that's called Mix Minus. So essentially what that means is your computer system will send audio out to the Roadcaster Pro 2 so that you can listen to it in your headphones. And it can, and so that also includes your Zoom members, your Zoom meeting participants. So if they're speaking, that output is coming through to the Roadcaster Pro 2 and then into your headphones. You do not want that audio to come back to them over the USB channel. So that's called USB mix minus. So it minuses itself out is what it is. However, your microphone is connected to the Roadcaster Pro 2. So that information or that audio sound can go back to the computer system. So all USB mix minus do is doing is it's canceling itself out. Stuff that's coming from its original source on the computer system. So let's go into the Roadcaster and you want to make sure that you have uh, mix minus enabled. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the settings button. You want to go to outputs. And then you want to go over to routing. So you've got your USB 1 main mix, right? Sorry, USB 1 um, uh, main up here, USB 1 chat, and then USB 2 secondary. Okay, so remember this is going to be called Roadcaster Pro 2 main, Roadcaster Pro 2 chat, and Roadcaster Pro 2 secondary. So for the settings for the main, essentially by default, you can always leave it on mix minus. It's not it's not horrible to leave it here on mix minus. If you select main mix, everything that comes through your computer system will go back into that same USB channel. 
There are some reasons why you would want this, but typically, for the most part, you don't want to enable this option here. Now, the Rodecaster Pro 2, as of version 1.0.7 on their firmware, now allows you to customize each and every single one of the audio channels. So you can, in fact, go ahead and route only channels one, two, three, and four to, to come back uh, in through USB uh, main, right? Or just channels one. And so that essentially allows it to hear everything that's coming back through one, which again is my microphone. However, if I enabled uh, Bluetooth, then everything Bluetooth could also be heard over that channel and going back. So, but typically, as I said, mix minus is fine, even on the chat side, mix minus. Um, and then uh, the, the uh, secondary, okay, you can see here, so USB secondary input will not be included in the USB secondary output. So USB chat will not be, okay. So now when you have that, that's typically your default settings. So inside of Ecamm Live, you can see here, uh, you want to select in your main audio source, you want to select the Rodecaster Pro 2 chat. Now what this does is it allows you to collect the audio from any of the microphones or the sources on the Rodecaster Pro 2. However, if you're using your headphones as your main audio source for your computer system, that is your computer is outputting audio to the Rodecaster Pro 2 so that you can monitor it or you could broadcast it out uh, into your podcast and so forth, then what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up uh, changing the output speaker source over to your um, Rodecaster Pro 2. So if you ended up switching over to the Rodecaster Pro 2, and you can see here, sorry, now the audio might have just switched, but if you switch this to Rodecaster Pro 2 chat, what, I, what happens here is um, your computer system is not going to compete with any of the audio that's coming through uh, the Rodecaster Pro 2. So, as an example, if I have a browser window open, let me just open up a browser. Okay, so here you can see that I've got the Live Streaming Pros uh, YouTube channel open and I've got a video of Luria. Now I want you to pay attention to uh, one key thing here, okay? So I'm gonna switch over to this view so you can see the Rodecaster Pro 2 screen. You can see channel one here is my main audio and now I've moved this channel here over to my USB channel. So that's the computer channel. So now I'm able to output my audio, as you can see here, I can output the audio to Rodecaster Pro 2 chat. And this is now Rodecaster Pro 2 chat, as you can see here on the little tiny uh, icon at the bottom here, okay? So that is Rodecaster Pro 2 chat. So when I go ahead and click play on this video, You can see that wrote the, the audio meter on this side here moved and I can hear it in my headphones. However, over here in Ecamm Live, you did not see this bar move. Okay, so watch this bar over here for the Roadcaster Pro 2 chat. You'll see that it doesn't move. And the reason why that doesn't move is because the, that, that's what the chat function is for. It's only for the, the, uh, the microphones and the sources like that, okay? So if you do not want your computer system audio to go through to your broadcast, but you still want to hear it, then you need to select your output as Rodecaster Pro to chat. However, if you want your video to play and you hear it and it's inside of your broadcast, then you need to change your output to Rodecaster Pro 2 main. So you're gonna go ahead here and you're gonna select this and you're gonna switch this over to the main multi-track. So let me switch this over to USB one main, reassign it. So now these two sliders or faders here are gonna be on USB chat and USB one main. So you can see I'm gonna increase the volume here. Now, remember my output speakers are going to main multi-track, but my audio coming in is over here on USB Pro, uh, Roycaster Pro 2 chat. But now when I hit the video on play, at $100 and the Samsung Q. You can see here, it's not going over the chat channel now, it's going over the main channel. And the main channel, you at $120. Because it's an XLR mic, you will need an XLR interface to convert the signal. Is now carrying the computer system audio. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to, you're going to need to play around a little bit. And what the, the key is that you have to watch out 
for your audio meters. You want to make sure your audio meter is moving when you want it to and it's not moving when you don't want it to. That's where a lot of the challenges exist with the Rodecaster Pro 2 is because it's more complex than the average user would utilize. So just be careful with that USB 1 main and USB 1 chat. Uh, you can utilize them as two different uh, audio channels and systems to route audio separately depending upon what your needs are. Psst, did you know that you could have had access to this entire Roadcaster Pro 2 series first like a month ago? But you missed out because you weren't on my streaming platform called Nebula. And it's not just me, it is all my creator friends. We are putting an amazing amount of content on Nebula. Let me show you. You can see all the latest videos from all the creators on this platform. Hey, look, Epos Box! And you get original content that isn't even uploaded to YouTube from your favorite creators. You've got Nebula first, extended versions, maybe bloopers or extra additional information that you don't get on YouTube. Nebula first, things that are exclusive, early access on this platform. There's so much great stuff here. And here's the cool thing. Usually Nebula is $50, but with my exclusive link, it actually goes down to $333 a month for you. So you can find that link in the description. Now, if you are on a Windows-based machine or a Linux machine, uh, the, the system is basically the exact same thing. You just need to find where you can route that audio differently. So whether you're using vMix or OBS or any other application which is utilizing your audio system, you want to make sure, again, that you're separating your channels from USB chat and USB main on the, the USB one channel. Uh, it, it can get a little bit complicated, but I would say this. At the end of the day, if you just want your audio to come from your microphones and your sound effects on, your, on the Roadcaster Pro 2 and send that to your computer system so you can record that into your broadcasts, whether it be a live stream or a recording, then just stick to USB uh, Roadcaster Pro 2 chat uh, for your audio uh, selection inside of your software. And then for your speakers, you can also select chat so that you can at least hear the computer system audio. Uh, if you need it. Now, if you don't need your computer system audio to be heard through your ears because you're not playing anything, then don't even bother changing your uh, audio output. Just leave it as your computer speakers because nothing else is going to pl be playing anyway. Therefore, you won't have any confusion.